Good morning everyone, it's Friday, it's the 23rd of August, it's going to be a hot one and if you've ever wondered what you call a thieving alligator, you're going to find out what that's all about right after this. It's good morning, 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 it's Friday, yes it is. Happy Friday everyone, we made it, yes we did. What do you call a thieving alligator? You call him a crocodile. Crocodile, silly, very silly, crocodile. <laughs> if you're on YouTube, do hit the subscribe button. Please click the jingly jangly bell for ways to keep in touch with me. And if you're on Facebook, you can like me, you can love me, you can ha 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 me, we know what's coming next. You can wow me because I don't like to be sad or angry. So it's Friday, wow me kids, wow me, go on, how are you gonna wow me? Oh yes. Well, there we go. What next? Oh, I suppose we should really do what's, what day <laughs> It's Friday, I'm losing the plot. What day is it? Oh, I've already clicked over here. It's sponge cake day. Oh, sponge cake, Victoria sponge, lemon sponge, orange peel sponge, carrot cake sponge, chocolate sponge. Oh, lots and lots of different sponge cakes. Lots and lots of different fillings and toppings. My favourite being chocolate. Chocolate sponge with a chocolate creamy thing inside and then chocolate on the outside and chocolate chips on top of the chocolate oh chocolate chocolate sponge cake day oh just sponge cake day everything from a victoria sponge to german cake which wasn't invented in germany no or a black forest gatto that's a sponge as well and you make it light and fluffy how do you make it light and fluffy by beating eggs into it yes egg whites whisk them up and then fold everything else into it, put it in a baking tray, boom, there you go, nice fluffy sponge. Yes, so, sponge cake day, yes. And that's where I get sponge cake square bob from, which is an interesting title, because sponge bob square pants doesn't appear in this at all. Yes, so, there you go, oh yes. No birthdays today, but we do have some blog posts, yeah, we got three blog posts, three blog posts today, yes. So I'm going to go and click over here, Oh, and the first one is from the lovely, lovely, lovely Kirsty Paris. Yes, blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk. Kirsty Paris, ace marketing girl. Yes, what she doesn't know about marketing ain't worth knowing. Ah, uh, a planning plus marketing times effort equals success. It does. You have to focus on what you want the business to achieve. You've got to set goals. It's like everything in life. Set a goal, work towards it. Simple as that. So you have to work out what you're, what you're going to plan it and then you're going to do the marketing. So you're going to have a marketing plan and you're going to put the effort in and then you will achieve success. And Kirsty talks about that. She did have some bullet points down here. Oh, successfully marketing your business entails focusing on what you want the business to achieve. Ooh, Ooh bullet points. Yeah, look, go and have a look at that. Definitely blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk. I say what Kirsty doesn't know about marketing ain't worth knowing. She's been doing it for like 20 years. She knows what she's talking about, that girl. Yes, she does. Yes. Blog post number two. Yes, it is. It's from the lovely Georgia at the Black Sheep Collective. <gasps> www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk. We scroll down and it's called Bar Bar Book Club, an American marriage. Yes, it is. Oh, look at that. So Bar Bar Book Club is a regular meeting once a month at Bar Bar Black Sheep, which is the coffee shop that they got on the square in Wolverton behind the Angora and they have a meeting once a month and they talk about a book and it was called An American Marriage and they actually liked it which was good uh, they said it's the perfect holiday read you should read the blog post to find out more about it and next month they're going to be reading about When a Monster Calls yes yes and there's links in the blog post so if you want to get either of the books this week this month's book An American Marriage or next month you can click through and go straight to the page for the blog post for the books yes it does so www.blacksheetcollective.co.uk go and read george's blog post about bar bar book club book club not book 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 club for this month yay yes oh hello push that yeah <laughs> can you tell it's friday yeah 
last blog post last blog post of the week the hidden gem of dining in northamptonshire is blog.pottersburyhouse.co.uk my favorite restaurant in the whole of the world yes it is my favorite restaurant in the whole world actually because they're going above and beyond whatever you need that's fine they have the standard menu but if you need to vary off it just let them know what you want beforehand so if you're vegan if you're vegetarian if you're lactose intolerant if you're piscatarian or whatever terian you might be is that piscatarian is that fish or is that a type of religion i can't remember um anyway you let them know what you want so if you have a group of friends you've all got different dietary requirements then you just let them know when you book a table and they'll sort you out they will sort you out and give you whatever you want look at this look i'm over here look at that that is an afternoon tea at pottersbury house yeah 20 quid a person <laughs> that's like a brilliant value so you get a selection of sandwiches selection of cakes scones tea all sorts of things that's fabulous it really is although i have to say i have coffee when i go i do but there you go blog .pottersburyhouse.co.uk the hidden gem of dining in Northamptonshire yes it is it is it's brilliant I love Pottersbury House restaurant it's just up the A5 yes go up the A5 from the Stony Stratford roundabout turn right boom there it is Pottersbury House go through the arch see the restaurant fabulous and they've got my favorite burger although I'm still tempted to start the uh, best MK uh, best burger in MK blog and just do some burger eating and see what happens yes i might do that i might do that definitely whoa what's in the diary staffy what are you doing today well friday is my pseudo day off i do all this work in the morning so i do all my publishing and all my sharing and then i do the staffy show and then i do a network backup i do yes and then that's it i'm free for the day however i have got a project to finish for the lovely danny quinn promised it would be done this week so uh, I'm nearly there but about 95% there need to finish that off and then I'm doing some more work on my new editorial process as well yes I've got to uh, redesign the editorial process because I want to take on editors soon and I need more control of it I need checklists and I need more stats on the screen and stuff for each blog post so I can see what's happening yes so that's working out quite well I'm about 70% of the way through that so that needs to be uh, some effort put in for that this weekend yeah so uh, although I'm going to relax I'm going to have some lions I've got my bestie coming over for some scrummy food I, I'm going to chill out and I'm going to program and programming is awesome and I love it I yes I do so that's my plan for the weekend uh, I will go for some walks as well although it is going to get very very hot and sunny so I'm going to make sure I've got plenty of water with me when I go out for a walk because I have to admit it Friday's my way in day and I've put on a little bit of weight I'm not happy about that I'm not super disappointed you know but I'm just not quite happy that I put on a couple of pounds and I think I need to put more effort into going for walks regularly and eating less sweets is probably the, the key thing to it but there you go that's my, my diary for the weekend and we're getting to fact of the day fact of the day yay fact of the day yeah, i love the fact of the day because it's the last thing we're going to do this week and it's an, it's a space space fact it is yes the sun is thought to have completed around 20 orbits of the milky way galaxy during its lifetime and just one one two five one thousand two hundred and fiftieth of an orbit since the origin of humans okay so the sun is somewhere over here <laughs> what down here that part of the milky way galaxy and uh, the milky way galaxy is a big spiral galaxy it's about a hundred thousand years across uh, 100,000 light years across so it takes light 100,000 years to go from one side to the other it's got between 100 billion and 400 billion stars it's got countless planets as we're discovering all the time and to go round it it takes 250 million years right so if the sun's about 5 million years old probably four and a half to 5 million years old then the sun's gone round it at least 20 times but since humans arose about 200,000 years ago it's only done a one one two five oh th th of an orbit since the rise of humans because we're actually quite a young species and the, the, the earth's been around a lot longer than we have yes billions of years unless you believe in creationism which is 8,000 years which is a complete load of tosh and even the pope and the vatican admit that 
Yes, there you go, creationists. Eat that, yes. Eat that with your sponge cake. No, no. And that's it. That's it for the week. It is yes. If you're on YouTube, do hit the subscribe button and click that jingly jangly bell if you would. That'd be so good of you. And then on Facebook, you can like me, you can love me, you can ha ha me, you can definitely wow me. But no sadness, Ranga, because it is Friday. Yes, and everyone's going to have a fantastic weekend in the sunshine so what happened today well we had sponge cake day yes my favorite sponge cake being chocolate sponge cake with chocolate on the inside chocolate on the outside and chocolate on top of it <laughs> yes sponge cake day eat some sponge cake and then we had three fantastic blog posts one from kirsty paris at blog.andromedaconsulting.co.uk talking about marketing our planning times marketing uh, no, sorry, planning plus marketing times effort equals success. There you go. So that's a blog done. Dramadacontorting.co.uk. Then we had the lovely Georgia at www.blacksheepcollective.co.uk talking about Barbar Book Club and An American Marriage, which is the book that they reviewed this, uh, they read and sort of discussed this month. Um, there's links to Amazon in there. And then finally for the week, we had blog.potsburyhouse.co.uk the hidden gem of dining in Northamptonshire. It is my personal favourite restaurant. The burgers are epic. Yes, they are. And you can have afternoon tea for 20 quid a person. It's amazeballs. It really is. Yes. And the fact of the day, it was a space. And it was all about the sun. Uh, 250 million years to get round, to orbit round the Milky Way. 20 orbits of the sun since it was born. And just one 1,250th of an orbit since we came along because humans are a very young species admittedly hugely destructive yes so there you go that's it for the week no more blog posts this week uh, i don't do my editing until sunday because i always edit the day before a blog post is published so today is my pseudo day off and all that's left to wish you is that have an awesome day have an awesome weekend in the sunshine and i'll be back on monday with another five episodes of the steffi show <laughs>